Did you know that about 15% of adults in America struggle with hearing problems? Sadly, only one third of them are actually aware of the issue. Most of them choose to live with hearing loss day in and day out. Hi viewers, and welcome back to Bestie. Hearing is one of your five senses, and perhaps is one of the most underappreciated. It isn't until it fades that you realize how much value it provides. Your daily life could be taking a toll on your ears, and in today's video, we'll tell you about bad habits that are damaging your hearing. From smoking, not wearing ear protection, being stressed all the time, eating unhealthy foods to ignoring signs of infection and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. Number 1. Avoiding the Dentist your teeth and ears are connected? It seems that good dental hygiene affects the body positively in a number of ways, one of which is protecting the hearing. Healthy teeth and gums are free of the bacteria that can lead to swelling and infections. When these bacteria enter your bloodstream, it can cause inflammation and reduce circulation. This can have a negative effect on your hearing health, so brush, floss, and make that dental appointment you've been putting off. Your ears will thank you. How often do you have a dental checkup in a year? Are you scared of visiting the dentist? Quickly tell us down below in the comment section. Number 2. Obesity While obesity is not a habit, we have included it in this list because it does present a few health problems, particularly in terms of the circulatory system. People who are very overweight experience more issues with their heart health and circulation. They're also at a higher risk for diabetes. But how does this affect the ears? The inner ear depends on good blood flow to stay healthy, and a weakened circulatory system can be detrimental to the structures of the ear that are essential for hearing. Diabetes can restrict blood flow and even destroy small blood vessels, which can also have a negative effect on the inner ear. Exercise is great for maintaining good circulation. It can help with diabetes symptoms and keep your ears in good shape. Number 3. Listening to Loud Music Teenagers and young adults are most susceptible to noise-induced hearing loss from unsafe use of different audio devices. Listening to music through headphones or earbuds is very satisfying, and it creates your own space. However, there are many consequences to your ear health from listening to loud music. It has been suggested that listening to music with headphones at 60% or less volume for about an hour a day is the max amount of noise exposure your ears can handle. Always choose headphones over earbuds as earbuds sit closer to your eardrums. Number 4. Drinking it might look like we're trying to ruin your fun, but drinking is another habit that may be harming your hearing. Don't panic, having a glass of wine or a pint every now and again isn't a concern. However, if you have a heavy drinking habit, it's not just your liver that's suffering. A study showed that moderate to high alcohol consumption can put your hearing health in jeopardy. High levels of alcohol in the body damages the hair cells in the inner ear. This inhibits your ability to process sounds. It also damages the part of the brain where sounds are interpreted and leads to shrinkage of this area. Number 5. Using Cotton Swabs It's very common for people to clean their ears with cotton swabs, especially after a shower and try to remove wax from their ears. However, it is not advisable to use cotton swabs as accidents can happen, and you may perforate your eardrums. This can lead to terrible outcomes for your hearing health. Ears are self-cleaning organs, which stop foreign objects such as bugs, ants, and other insects from entering your ears. If you have an excess wax problem, visit your doctor or inquire for a free hearing test. This way, the audiologist can have a look in your ear and let you know the best solution. Number 6. Not wearing hearing protection this can be either through occupation or leisure environments. In situations like concerts or mowing your lawn where you need to shout to the person next to you so they can hear your voice, these instances are where your hearing can get damaged. The sound levels are dangerously harmful to your hearing health and can cause permanent hearing loss. If you feel like you can't hear after a bunch of loud noise, visit your doctor. These moments are when you should have protection. For example, earplugs are very easy to obtain, and they're convenient to carry around with you. If you're a musician, you can get custom earplugs which can filter out sounds to allow you to hear other people in music, but at the same time, reduce the risk of harmful sounds damaging your hearing. Number 7. Smoking You've heard time and time again that smoking is bad for your health and leads to cancer or heart disease. What you might not know is that it's also bad for your hearing health. What does smoking have to do with hearing? When you smoke, certain chemicals that are released into the bloodstream bind to receptor sites that are responsible for hearing low-pitched sounds. The more you smoke, the stronger these bindings become, until you lose the ability to hear certain low sounds. It also damages the delicate cells in the inner ear that process sound vibrations and translate them into electrical impulses to send to the brain. Another reason for you to quit smoking. Number 8. Ignoring Signs of Infection 
Chronic ear infections break down the bones and hair cells that make hearing possible. Failing to get treatment or not following the doctor's instructions can mean repeated infections that take their toll on your ears. Most infections are bacterial, so even though the symptoms go away and you feel better, the infection may still be active deep in your ear. Over time, the bacteria will destroy the middle and inner ear and put you at risk for potentially life-threatening conditions like a brain abscess. Number 9. You're Always Stressed Stress and anxiety have been linked to both temporary and permanent tinnitus, which is a phantom ringing in the ears. High levels of stress cause your body to go into fight or flight mode. This is an instinctual reaction that fills your body with adrenaline to help you either fight or flee from danger. This process puts a lot of pressure on your nerves, blood flow, body heat, and more. It's commonly thought that this pressure and stress can travel up into your inner ear and contribute to tinnitus symptoms. Number 10. Wrong Diet <clears throat> Like so many diseases, eating the wrong foods or not eating the right foods can cause and worsen hearing loss. You need certain nutrients to build healthy cells and keep them nourished. Unlike other parts of your body, the inner ear, where most of your hearing happens, has cells that don't heal or regenerate once they've been damaged. Avoid processed foods, sandwich meats, and other inflammatory foods. Instead, eat a hearing-healthy diet that includes sufficient potassium, folic acid, magnesium, and zinc. Eating the wrong foods can not only damage your hearing, but also make you gain weight quickly, leading to a lot of health problems. To know how to get that weight off and be healthy, watch this video titled, The Military Diet That Will Make You Lose 10 Pounds in 3 Days. Now back to habits that are harming your hearing. Number 11. Going to the Movies Studies have shown that the average noise level in a theater is around 94 decibels. Hearing loss starts at 85. If the movie is uncomfortably loud, walk out and get your money back. Make movie going a special treat. It's probably something you shouldn't do all the time if you want to keep your hearing. Consider wearing low decibel earplugs to block 20 to 30 decibels and protect your ears. Number 12. Using natural hearing loss cures. There are many natural hearing loss cures on the internet. They make big claims, but there's no scientific proof they work. And many of the claims they make demonstrate that they don't understand what causes hearing loss. They don't get that age-related hearing loss cannot be reversed, as many other diseases can. It can only be managed. Using remedies can delay getting your hearing tested and treated professionally. This can lead to worsening hearing loss. If you don't get treated, it will get progressively worse. By getting treatment early, you can slow the progression. Number 13. Not giving your ears time to recover If you're exposed to loud noises for a prolonged period of time, like at a concert or a bar, your ears need time to recover. If you can, step outside for five minutes every so often in order to let them rest. What's more, researchers have found that your ears need an average of 16 hours of quiet to recover from one loud night out. Number 14. Your ears are never dry Excess moisture can allow bacteria to enter and attack the ear canal. This can cause swimmer's ear or other types of ear infections, which can be dangerous for your hearing ability. Make sure you gently towel dry your ears after bathing or swimming. If you can feel water in the ear, tilt your head to the side and tug lightly on the earlobe to coax the water out. You can also ensure that your ears stay dry and healthy by using custom-fit swimmer's earplugs. These block water from entering the ear canal. They're great for adults and kids alike and work wonders in preventing swimmer's ear. While avoiding these habits can protect your hearing, sometimes foreign objects can enter your ears and cause damage. Here's what to do in such a situation. Watch what to do in case an insect flew into your ear. Or learn the home remedies for removing earwax. These two videos will definitely help you in case something enters your ears. Have you felt your hearing levels go down? Which of these habits would you blame for it? Let us know in the comments below.